So I made it back home to Chicago from Boston and um, I, um, of course, follow a lot of different sites online for um, avid figure skating fans and the collective opinion of the event. Um, it was when it was announced that it was going to be at the Boston Figure Skating Club. The one main issue was gosh, has figure skating been downgraded in the United States so much to be in such a small arena? Um, it was the best event I have ever been to. And um, that is like the collective view everywhere I've looked online. So um, I posted something on um, figure skating debates, which I happen to really uh, enjoy that site. Um, the moderator of it, Gina Moreau, I believe is her last name. Uh, yes, Gia Moreau, pardon me, um, is her attention to detail and giving information is fantastic. It's called Figure Skating Debates if you'd like to check it out. I think it's relatively new, but um, the comments are great uh, that people provide. I posted um, a film of Ilya in person um, landing a quad axle in uh, a um, practice ice. It wasn't even as good as the one he did in his program. And um, my comments were, um, this was Ilya landing a quad axle practice at Skate America, and I will, I'll include that in this video. But um, I'm 50 years old and have either watched on TV or attended um, a lot of great skating events in my life. This rink and skating club offered an intimate and so supportive environment for the skaters. I was thinking that many of these athletes have not had that kind of ultra supportive and involved audiences live in several years. So you think of some of the younger ones, they probably have never on the senior level had like a, a crowded stadium with with fans. I mean, I saw, I, it was so delightful to see them signing autographs and taking pictures with people. They were so gracious. They were so thrilled. Um, yeah. Um, Dana and Max, who I know uh, personally from Canada, where shutdowns were uh, happened multiple times and the border was closed, they were blown away by the crowd. Um, it may have been a smaller facility, but the support given to every skater, every athlete and team, even on their worst day, was something like magic. Everyone in the crowd would rally behind someone struggling, not give up on them which happens sometimes. Someone is having a bad day and the crowd just abandons the program. They go for, you know, a bathroom break or something. The crowd loved skating. And I include here my own film of the quad axle. The one he did in his free skate was even better because it was truly surreal. The crowd couldn't stop screaming because it was a roar almost throughout the whole program because I know I never thought any skater would land a quadruple axle. I really did not. If you have any opportunity to see Ilya skate, do it. No one, sorry Hanyu fans, is even close to the rotation. And to do it in a program with the energy required for the triple Lutz, triple axle sequence, and even that step sequence at the end is unreal real. It was absolutely unbelievable to see him do the, all of that in a program live. As a Chicagoan, I saw Michael Jordan play basketball live and fly from half court to dunk a basketball. No one will ever play like Jordan. That magic. The quad axle in a free skate. It was a moment I will never forget. In skating, that to me was like a Jordan slam dunk. The whole event exceeded my expectations in every way. There were falls and sloppy programs and people not ready for the Grand Prix. And because of countries not participating and retirements after the Olympics, 
you know, there are people getting Grand Prix bids who would not normally be on the scene. And um, in this situation, it was fabulous, is what I'll say. Um, the skaters absolutely fed off the energy of the crowd. And every seat was close to the ice. I was close enough that pairs were like spinning their lifts still over my head while they were skating on the ice. It was remarkable. The whole event exceeded my expectations in every way. Ilya's skate was something I will never forget. Great job, Figure Skating Club of Boston. It was phenomenal. After placards in the place of people in seats and then travel bans and cancellations and virtual competitions for a few years, this, I believe, was exactly what the athletes especially needed. Totally magic. The comments um, that people have made. Um, truthfully, I loved every pro. This is someone, uh, every program, especially the ones with mistakes. Um, Misha Gay sang the national anthem. The Ukrainian. There was a Ukrainian dance team and the flags. There were pride flags when Amber skated. I mean, it was. It was unreal. There were flags, there were Ukrainian flags everywhere for that Ukrainian dance team. Um, so many goosebump moments. Totally, totally true. Um, people were applauding during the practices for people's run throughs. I mean, um, I could not agree more. Someone said, I was at Skate America and I had so many of the same feelings and impressions you did. I hope USFSA will award Skate America to Skating Club of Boston again totally agreed and and everyone is saying yes on this people are saying they had trouble going back to work today um how wonderful it was to see a full stadium the support to the athletes because we're dealing with a different caliber of athlete the year following the olympics and the year that several countries are not competing or are not allowed to be in the Grand Prix. We know the stories about that, but like, say China is not competing um, much much at all, they, and they have canceled their own Grand Prix. Uh, fortunately, some other countries have stepped forward to, to take on a, a Grand Prix event. But um, it didn't matter because, say somebody's best program doesn't even include a quad, say a guy, Okay, normally you would not find that person on in a Grand Prix event. They wouldn't. They wouldn't probably qualify. But this time, there would be several out there who, if they could land that triple axle, it was going to be a miracle for them. And to see people skate well for them. And so many people attended practice that you started to know what was good for, for each person. So I didn't care that the Swedish team uh, in pairs was not going to do, was going to do, did they do, I think, double flips side by side? What the heck? I mean, they landed them in the short and the long. Good for them. You know, I saw Eliana Sachenko. Pairs uh, Olympic gold medalist was their coach. They probably don't have pairs coaches in Sweden, and um, she's come on board to help them out. So, I mean, to see people's personal bests or have a good day for them, and then for those people who are having a rough day, we were so close to the skaters that you could be like, come on, you can do it, as they were doing crossovers into their next thing. I mean, it was like being at like your home rink and you skate with some kid who's learned a, a one-foot spin and you know that that's the hardest thing in their program and they're four or they're six and you cheer really loud because they did their one foot spin okay so I'm not saying that that was the level of competition but I'm just saying people were cheering for what they saw and for the the great moments for each individual person not and we're not judging one against another um 
often the first group, the first flight is the the lower group in each discipline and they were they were not even dreaming of meddling some of these skaters. They were so ecstatic to be at a Grand Prix event. What an honor. And their reaction to having fan support was priceless. It's probably the experience of their lifetimes for some of these people. And I'm not even including the great skating that we saw, the quad axle and the and um, Kaori's free skate and Isabeau coming on the scene and Gracie Gold coming back and making an admirable effort and ending in the top half. I mean, it's fabulous. Amber Glenn meddling and um, two dance teams meddling from the United States and you know our Paris team being world champions and. Uh, Deanna and Max's story and um, there were so many feel-good moments in in it that we didn't we didn't need um, to have the highest possible technical level uh, represented because there was good skating there was good skating and there was a there were a lot of um, personal um, moments of a lifetime that you saw happening right before your eyes, and I think that was my favorite part. And somebody wrote, uh, "This was a great comment." Um, heartily applaud the staff and volunteers; they were amazing of the Skating Club of Boston for an outstanding event. Everything was so well organized down to the finest detail. The staff and volunteers were super friendly. You could always find someone to ask a question of them. Um, I asked how the people selling sweatshirts and stuff were doing. I'm like, how are you guys doing? Are you, are you guys having a good, you know? And they're like, this is the first time we can see the skating. They were in the rink, you know? I mean details like that and the concessions they were in the rink they could see the quad axle you know um i do not recall hearing anyone complain about anything during the entire event and when i read that i'm like you know what i didn't hear anyone complain either the trash cans were always emptied i mean down to the the littlest thing there was always soap and paper towels in the restrooms um, they fielded a slew of Ubers and because it's not like on a main traffic line for a bus or something and they didn't have adequate parking. So they, you know, they made it possible. They had police directing traffic. I mean, down to the fact that they realized they weren't going to be able to feed everyone between events. So they had food trucks come in. It was totally fun. It was like a block party. I, I, I had like a neighborhood I call, of, of the people I sat with because it, everyone had an all event ticket who was there. They, they sold out only all event tickets. So like I got to know, I mean, I have exchanged contact information with multiple people and I, we are going to stay in touch. It's not like, Oh, we should stay in touch. Like no, seriously, I've already been, I've already corresponded with multiple of these, these uh, wonderful friends that I made. The first night I go back to my hotel, they're like, we have wine, come down. We were up until two in the morning. It was like we were at the Olympic Games. And it was the night of short programs. Um, yeah, it was, it was absolutely the most fun that I could possibly have hoped for at Skate America on a year when we have the war in the Ukraine, we're still dealing with COVID. It's a year of retirement, so it's considered like the dip year after in skating. It was the greatest time and the greatest event that I've ever attended in my life. I mean, hands down. 
So, I mean, people, we're, we're, anyone who went there is like, oh my gosh, give it back to them again or give them more competitions because they knocked it out of the park. I went uh, like a day early to try and get uh, tickets for the practice ices and I was like decked out in USA stuff. And one of the volunteers who I said, I found him on the last day. I, and he's, I'm like, you guys have gotten really good press for organizing some good competitions so far. Because they were one of the first ones to be like, okay, COVID, we'll deal with it. We'll require tests, we'll require masks, but we will host a competition live. And they were one of the first ones to do that. And it's only, the rink is only three years old. And so um, he's like, well, we got to really do our, do our job this weekend because it was being scrutinized. It was being scrutinized as giving to a small rink like this. And um, I said, congratulations, you guys did a remarkable job. And he was so happy to hear that. I've contacted uh, the Skating Club of Boston and sent them um, some of the, some screenshots of, of what people are saying. But um, it was, it was um, totally magic. And um, it didn't matter that it was a year after the Olympics or that the Russians weren't here or, you know, um, it, it, you know, the level may have been different, although the level of the winners was not. The level, the level of those who medaled was, was appropriate for a Grand Prix event. There may have been some people skating who got the chance of their life. So that is pretty special, too. Um, rather than down, downplay it and say, oh, you know, the depth was so thin and stuff. You know what? Some people got the experience, the chance, um, that they will, um, cherish for their entire lives. So good job, Boston, Boston Skating Club. Um, it's amazing. <music>